Election Commission of India is likely to grant National People's Party status to the National People's Party or the NPP. Sources confirmed that the notification from the Election Commission is likely to come tomorrow. If it happens, then NPP will become the first national party from the region. All right, Roshan Rai, my colleague from Shillong, joins us over the phone line at this point in time. Roshan, is it confirmed that the NPP is getting the national party status tomorrow? Uh, yes, Fahad, if uh, our sources is anything to go by with, uh, definitely this is a confirmed thing uh, that's uh, going to happen. Uh, all that is uh, left now is the notification uh, from the ECI uh, for the NPP to be recognized uh, as a national party. And if uh, this happens, then of course this will be the first from the north, from the region, and, or, uh, and also it will be the eighth national party for the country. So what is the criteria for being recognized as a national party? Is the NPP fulfilling all of that? Yes, uh, so uh, what we were given to understand that the NPP had applied uh, uh, for the status uh, after fulfilling the criteria as in uh, they need, needed to be recognized as a state party uh, in at least four states. And uh, so uh, NPP is already recognized in Meghalaya as a state party, uh, Manipur, Nagaland and Arunachal. So that is why this comes now. So with this confirmation comes as a big boost to the Conrad Sangma-led party, Roshan. Yes, definitely this will be a big, big boost for the, uh, uh, for NPP and uh, Conrad Sangma. Definitely the, the party was founded in uh, 2013 and after that it has been really striving to move forward. And uh, as you all see during the uh, CAB fiasco, also how, how Conrad Sangma was leading uh, from uh, trying to take the sentiments of the people ahead. And if this happens, then definitely they will get more space uh, to broaden their horizon and to step uh, furthermore.